Flint Hills have a subtle beauty. It's a quiet beauty. It's peaceful. I like to say the Flint Hills don't take your breath away. The Flint Hills give you a chance to catch your breath. My name is Jim Hoy. I am a native of Kansas. I'm a native of the Flint Hills. I was reared at a, on a small ranch near Cassidy, Kansas. I've earned my living professing literature and folklore at Emporia State University for 45 years. I'm a Kansas native. I'm a Kansas patriot. I'm a Flint Hills native and Flint Hills patriot, I think. The Flint Hills is in tall grass country. In fact, the Flint Hills along with the Osage Hills is probably the largest contiguous stand of tall grass prairie. It is the biggest in North America, probably in the whole world. We need to preserve the tall grass prairie because there's no other place like it in the world, because it provides a real economic boost to the state, provides uh, beef to the nation, and it has a distinctive cultural lifestyle that is unique to the Flint Hills. Both agritourism and ecotourism, I think, really do advance the state of Kansas, helping people understand by giving them the opportunity to experience the cowboy life on the Flint Hills, to walk out onto these prairies, to ride horses out onto these prairies, to drive cattle on these prairies. Another thing that uh, my wife has been involved in, I have too, is the symphony in the Flint Hills. The primary purpose is not to provide music. The purpose is to draw attention to the importance of the tall grass prairie. The symphony over its 10 year existence has had a really, really major impact on how people in the state of Kansas view the Flint Hills, particularly from urban areas. Uh, people come from many different states and foreign countries. The vast majority come from Kansas City, Topeka, Wichita. Some people who've never had a chance to set foot on the grass of the Flint Hills. And they learn about the Flint Hills. They learn to appreciate the Flint Hills. They learn to appreciate the open country. That's important because without education, people take things for granted. People don't know about it. Things get lost, things get ruined, things get destroyed because people are not aware of it. If you know something, you can appreciate it. If you can appreciate it, you can advance it, promote it, preserve it. If you aren't even aware of it, it can be lost. You won't even know what you've lost. Imagine the Flint Hills 10 years from now, 100 years from now, where they are like they are now, where there is still wide open country, where there's still a unique ranching culture different from other ranching cultures in the West, where you have stars at night and you have wonderful grass, tall grass to walk out through. Imagine a Kansas where the most beautiful places belong to no one and everyone. Where a single vision becomes part of something bigger. Something that inspires all of us to push Kansas forward.